Right now at 5.30, in just a few hours, paid parking will be returning to parts of Jacksonville Beach for the season. Every Friday night through Sunday, it's going to cost you to pay. Uh, you'll have to pay to stop in Jacksonville Beach City Lots. And this comes as the beaches are expected to be crowded tonight. St. Patrick's Day festivities. News for Jack's reporter Khalil Maycock is live at Jacksonville Beach, where he spoke with people out there today. Mixed reviews about this paid parking returning. I spoke to some people and some say they don't mind having to use kiosks like these to pay for that parking because they say it happens all the time in bigger cities. And I did speak to some employees at an Irish pub and they say they don't like it because it means their employees have to pay to park close to the job. I'm going to take the time and go to the beach. For some, today was meant for relaxation, while for others. Um, we're going to celebrate St. Patrick's Day with some of our friends. But today isn't just important because it's St. Patrick's Day. It's also the first day for paid parking to return in Jacksonville Beach. Commander Tom Bigham with the Jacksonville Beach Police Department tells News for Jax the paid parking season runs through October 29th. You only have to pay Friday 8 p.m. to 2 a.m., Saturday 10 a.m. to 2 a.m., and Sunday 10 a.m. to midnight, unless the following Monday is a holiday. Then Sunday is 10 a.m. to 2 a.m., and on that holiday Monday, you'll pay 10 a.m. to midnight. And it's three dollars to park for the first two hours, and then one dollars for every additional hour. We, we need, need a lot more. more. We need a lot more. Wendy, who lives in Jacksonville Beach, says she thinks this is a good idea, but wants more spots for parking. It took me about half an hour to find a parking spot this morning. <laughs> News for Jack spoke to workers at this bar off camera. They tell us they expect more than five thousand people to come through their doors today alone for St. Patrick's Day. We asked if paid parking will help with congestion in the area or help boost their business. During our conversation with the commander, he mentioned he hoped paid parking would encourage more people to come to the area. One staff member mentioned he doesn't think paid parking has that effect on congestion or attracts more people to come out. He said he's not a fan of it because it requires his employees to have to pay to get parking nearby. News for Jack spoke to others in the area about paid parking and received mixed reactions. I mean, if you have a public beach, I think you should have free public parking as well. I, th I think the paid parking is a good way to generate, generate some revenue to to help upkeep the area down here. I got the money for parking as well, you know. <laughs> and that commander did say three more to pay to parking spots will be available next weekend, and they are 102 Second Avenue North, 100 block of the 6th Avenue North, and the 6th Avenue of North End Zone. The other parking spots that are the same as last year are the pier parking lot, city parking lot behind the Ritz, the one east of it, and the parking lot next to Sneakers. Now, we'll be posting all of those locations on our website, newsforjacks.com. Reporting live, Phil Maycock, Channel 4, the local station. Yeah, Khalil, you, you also found some important information for people who actually live in Jacksonville Beach. What's that? Now, that commander did say if people who live in this area and they have registered their cars or vehicles here, they don't have to pay for that parking. And he said if you did register last year, you don't have to do it again this year. Uh, Kent. All right, thank you. Khalil Mekot reporting live in Jacksonville Beach. Thank you.